Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. For today's short meditation, let's turn to the second letter of Paul to Timothy chapter 3 and verse number 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine and for reproof and correction. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father God, speak through your word and fill our hearts with joy and delight to listen to your word. We know how dear are your words because your word brings comfort and strength to our feeble heart. Therefore touch our hearts through your word. Therefore Holy Spirit rest upon us. Holy Spirit guide us. Holy Spirit possess us. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. We are living during a time of a pandemic named Corona and therefore we have to follow certain protocols. So we regularly hear this announcement made even in the church to follow certain protocols. So as usual, a priest announced before the service to follow certain COVID protocols. Now despite all that, a youth refused to wear the mask. So after the service, one man who stood beside him asked him a question. Why did you not wear the mask despite the priest making an announcement? The boy said, I have faith in God than having faith on the mask. The man told him, if you have faith, why don't you pray that God will take away the virus? He replied, do not put God to test. The youth had good knowledge about the scripture, but the application was inadequate. Well, people are smart to use scripture to suit their lifestyle, then to bring spiritual conversion to the areas that are under their own control. Now, ideally what happens is during a youth meetings, Certain youth quotes if Abraham can speak a lie, Jacob can cheat, David can commit adultery, why can't we do the same? I only give them a simple reply. God chose them and God tagged them as heroes of faith because they had faith and they had obedience and they followed the will of God. David could experience grief when he sinned. Abraham, Abraham had the faith to sacrifice his son and Jacob wrestled with God. Do you have the same faith as they had? Can you walk in the will of God as they did? Scripture is meant to rebuke correct and not to suit our lifestyle. Word of God is like a mirror. And only after seeing ourselves on the mirror, we see how we look like. Then we desire how we want to be. In the same way, when we look at the word of God, we see our Lord Jesus Christ. And we try all that we want to look like him. How much you look like Jesus is how well the words have penetrated in your life. Dear friends, if you are going through a time of unbelief, Jesus is only asking you to believe. Believing pleases God than any offering of flowers and candle on the altar. Just believe and follow the scripture and you will experience God working his lifestyle in you. God bless you all. Have a great day in Jesus' name. Amen.